Things are spicing up at City Hall over food truck lies. And a city councillor has visions of a Toronto World Cup. Humber News starts now. Hello, it's April 2nd. Welcome to Humber News, coming to you from the Broadcast Center here at the North Campus. I'm Sean Mohammed. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Lily Tran. Ahead on our show, we have all your news, sports, and entertainment highlights, as well as your five-day weather forecast. But first, Sean has our top story. City Council could be taking a bite out of some tough rules for food trucks. Owners of food trucks say the restrictions hurt their business. That's what's being debated at City Hall today, new and looser rules. If there are changes, food trucks would be allowed to park for up to five hours on a street. Right now, there is a 10-minute parking limit in licensed parking lots. However, they will still have to remain at least 50 meters away from a licensed restaurant. The new rules could take effect on May 15th. Food trucks aren't the only thing up for discussion at City Hall today. City Councillor Mark Grimes asked Council to consider a joint bid with Canadian or U.S. cities to host the 2026 FIFA Men's World Cup. Grimes proposed city staff consider pairing with cities within a day's drive of Toronto to host the event. The motion also recommends a live broadcast of the FIFA Men's World Cup Finals in July. Grimes says hosting the event would build Canada's reputation for big sporting events. The Ministry of the Attorney General is keeping the Brampton Courthouse shooters' criminal court files secret, and there is no reason being given as to why they are being withheld from the public. 45-year-old Charanjit Bossi was shot dead last week after he opened fire in a Brampton courthouse. A P Peel police officer was shot and wounded in the incident. Bossy's ex-wife released a statement today saying Bossy was not mentally ill, nor is he a religious fanatic. Investigations are still ongoing. Police believe there could be more victims in the case of a Toronto couple charged with fraud and elder abuse. 94-year-old Norma Marshall was allegedly defrauded of her life savings by Vera Nunes and Luis Serpa de Considad Santos. Nunes was Marshall's housekeeper for over four years. She told her they were all moving to Portugal and would need money. Marshall spoke this morning about the relationship. I was thinking about it and even last Christmas or the one before, they did not come to see me or uh, suggest that we go out. I spent Christmas alone. In addition to fraud, the couple are facing a series of theft and mischief charges. A longtime Liberal MP is leaving his post and entering the race for City Council in Toronto. Jim Carigianis has represented the Scarborough Agent Court riding since 1988. He will be running for council in Ward 39, which overlaps much of his riding. Ward 39 is currently headed by Councillor Mike Del Grande, who has chosen to not seek re-election. All week long, the Humber Students' Federation is celebrating Earth Week. Today, they were letting students show their creativity. Our eco-friendly reporter, Mark McKelvey, has more. Students jam-packed a part of the North Campus Student Centre today for an Earth Week event. Students were given the chance to show off their creativity and design their own plant pot. The pot was then filled with soil and seeds for the students to nurture. Once that step was completed, students got an eco-friendly water bottle, a reusable bag, a plant in a box, and a free cup of hot chocolate. The event run by HSF was to raise awareness for Earth Week. The students I spoke to were both passionate of the earth and enjoying the chance to be creative outside the classroom. I saw it and I was intrigued and I like to try new things yeah. and I used to do it before but I never really worked out so I'm going to try again. I'm a big fan of Earth Week. I like helping with sustainability and all that and it's worth it, like helping give back to the planet. More to protect the earth and make our like, earth more green. And uh, yourself, do you take steps like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Well, That's why I'm planting a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, one of the many volunteers, Shiv Sadana, says he enjoys events like this for helping a good cause and getting to meet lots of new people. I guess having like a week dedicated to just um, preserving energy is really important and it kind of brings us back to how it was before. Along with raising awareness for Earth Week, HSF also sent students home with plenty of gifts. I got a free bag, a green eco-friendly water bottle, a plant in a box, and even some popcorn. Mark McKelvey, Humber News. Thanks, Mark. There's bad news and good news for Ontario in the long-term economic report released by Provincial Finance Minister Charles Souza today. On the bad side, Ontario's economy will gradually slow down over the next 20 years. The report also says a decrease in the working age population poses a challenge for the province. However, it says the unemployment rate will decrease from 7.7 .7 to 5.6% over the next two decades. 
As well, the report predicts inflation will fall from 3% to an average of 2% in Ontario. When we come back, we'll have more news from across the country and around the world. John Mace will have the sports news and we'll have your weather forecast with Hugh Smith. It appears spring has finally sprung here at Humber. Get ready to see warmer temperatures and fewer layers over the next few days. I'll have your five-day weather forecast after the break.